Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It's Cleo. And we're back here with another USPS video as usual. Um, oh, my God. Leo, stop. Oh, ugh, you know what? Come here. <clears throat> if you guys haven't already met Leo, this is my son. Y'all see his new collar? I just got them for his yesterday. He don't know how to act. He be chasing it and stuff. He don't really know what's going on. Love him. All right, Leo, go play. Even though he's not going to go play, he's right here just being mad annoying. But anyway, so you know what? I know it's been a minute since I did little videos in my crib. You know, it's been a minute. I thought, you know, why not do, like, a USPS clothing haul? Like, I see a lot of YouTubers do clothing hauls. I've never seen a USPS clothing haul. So, you feel know what I'm saying? I'm here to bring it to you. Stop. I'm here to bring it to y'all first, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like I'm missing a few things, like, for starters, I already know that my rain hat and my sun hat is not here, but I feel like y'all probably seen that already. I'm trying to think if I got, like, flicks with that on. I might try to insert clips or something like that. Um, I know for a fact my raincoat, my long raincoat that I showed y'all before, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the people that went on Amazon and went and found it, all right? It's the advertisement for me. Um, shout out to y'all that went and copped. It's a good vibe. It's a good vibe. But, um, you know, I'm on here. I know you're like, what? Okay, I got dread I got locks now. Okay. Um, they're faux. But um, I have locks now, so I really don't feel like taking all that out. So, listen, y'all already know the vibe when it comes to... This is nothing new. But let's jump right into the video. All right, you guys. So, don't mind me being wrinkled because we already know this is just... You know, this is just for the haul, you know what I'm saying? But you got your, you got your carrier, what do they call this? I'm going to call this your carrier polo, you know what I'm saying? You got your carrier polo. I really don't like these, to be honest. I like to wear the regular t-shirt. I'm going to show you that next. But to be honest, I guess if you really want to be fully in uniform, like, this is the one. And for starters, when you first get your allowance, okay, make sure you get your voucher yourself. You could go to the store and pick out what you want because you got these, um, I don't know if it works for every, I don't know really how it works for everybody, but I know we have, um, like people that sell uniforms or they make their own, they come around to different stations and they, um, and you know, oh my God, I apologize if y'all see Leo down there in the cut. He, I guess he wanted me to be in the video. But anyway, right? Um, oh, he's sitting down, y'all. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Right. You have, like, people that come around to different stations and, you know, they make their own shirts and, you know, they make orders for these. They will take your voucher and create a whole order, give you 7,000 of these pants that don't fit. Um, it, it just, it's, it gets really crazy. So make sure you get your voucher in your hands and you can do what you want to do. With your voucher for real. But um these are the winter pants. Um, I don't know if you could you probably won't really be able to tell like in person. I mean through the camera. But these are like the winter ones. You got your winter pants and you got summer pants. These are a little thicker. You still want to make sure you got your good old hold on. I definitely love to keep a pair of these under, okay, when it starts getting real brick, okay, and you know, I get it, the wind pants or whatever. But listen, stay tuned for all that, okay? All that's coming soon. Okay, it's coming soon. But this is your average. Um, I'm getting ready to show y'all the regular t-shirt. Um, let me show y'all that. Now, for the most part, you guys will always catch me in one of these. I know if you've seen uh, many of my other videos, this is the shirt right here. I don't really like to do other colors with these shirts. You know, they, these shirts come in a thousand colors, pink, green, uh, purple. I, I'm not really here for that. Like, I feel like black really does the blue justice but you know they have these in navy blue they got steel gray um i'll do gray um i have a few long sleeve shirts as a matter of fact let me show you how the long sleeve 
Now, again, pretty much the same shirt, long sleeve. I'm, again, even with the long sleeve, I'm here. I got this shirt in, like, some weird kind of blue, some other kind of blue. This black. I think I bought green one time just because it was it was getting brick and I was desperate. Like, listen, whatever color you got. But um, these are cool in the winter. I do, I will say, the real postal button-up. That shit had you looking real professional. I got to actually go and cop one of those. Like, the really sets off the look. Like, it really sets it off. So, I'm going to eventually go cop one of those. But these shirts right here is what I don't like. And no shade, I don't know, to my city carriers who are in, um, like, Brooklyn or whatever. Y'all probably got a whole lot of these. I, I forgot specifically, like, who makes these. But baby, these don't fit me good. They don't. They don't fit me good. Uh, they they drape, okay, and it just it gives me the wrong drip, and I just don't like these. It gives me nightgown. You know how you get a shirt and you wear it as a nightgown? Like I don't really like that. I don't like that. So I don't really wear this. You know, that's like laundry day. You don't got no more shirts. You run it real low. That's what that shirt is. But um. Where do I go from here? Um, I guess I'll just skip right now and back into outerwear now. Give me one second, y'all. Now, I know I definitely did mention how I like to put these under my pants, whether you got the summer pants on in the winter and you layer up with these or you really trying to fit some uh, undergarments under these. Might I tell y'all this? I don't know how the fellas' pants fit, you know what I'm saying? But... These lady pants up here, it's, it really gives, like, it gives waist injury at the top. Like, it really snatches you. And I'm not big or anything, but, like, these pants will really, like, snatch you up. But, um, all right, let's start with hoodies. I'm going to show y'all one of my hoodies. Now, this is more, like, heavy duty. This is the one I don't really... I wear this one, but you know, this is more, this is more heavy duty winter, like it's brick. You need the fur, you need, and as a matter of fact, a lot of my clothes fit better from last year because you know, like I put on a few little pounds, you know what I'm saying? But no, for real, like you kind of get used to the job. Cause like when you first start this job, like you lose mad weight. Like you really be like, but, um, well, some of us, no shame, but. You know, you lose a lot of weight, so, you know, a lot of my clothes, like, I'm trying it on for this video, but for real, I'm kind of like, ooh, it was not as big as it was last year. But, you know, this is my heavy-duty, is brick sweater, you know what I'm saying? That's the one. Then, this is my, you know, like, for right now, especially in New York, like, it's not brick, but it's not hot either. So, you know, this is the thin one. Um, do I have anything on the back? Oh, yep. Got the USPS on the back. I'm dead. Um, yeah, so that's my light hoodie. I got, like, a few of these. I got an old crusty one that somebody, uh, gave to me at first. Like, they bought one. It was too small for them, so they gave it to me. And I'm like, this don't even really fit me. But, you know, it's something about, in the beginning, like, getting gear, like, getting poster drip. You're like, listen, I don't care where it came from. It's lit, y'all. I got poster drip. Like, let's go. Um, I recently just bought this, <laughs> long story short about this coat, but anyway, I got the coat, right? Um, this is the fleece. I don't really know how much it costs because it was a gift. I really have no idea, but, um, I did get caught in the rain. Um, if you watched my last video and I was telling you how I got caught in the rain and my hair was wet and all that. I did get caught in the rain with this. It did not go through. It did not seep all the way through. But, you know, I was on a truck. So, you know, you're like you're in and out. So, I wouldn't say, like, walk through the rain on foot with this on, you know. But, um, Leo, stop. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say, like, be on foot, like, walk through the rain with this on. But, like, if you get caught out there, you in and out, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I'm really here for this. This is actually pretty cute. Oh, yeah, I didn't zip it up. Sorry. It's supposed to be a model. 
let me do it all the way um it's got the scrunchy bottom like you know you can take it in so you know it's giving bomber you know i never really got a chance to get the real bomber um jacket or the vest i still want a vest that's that's soon oh leo move But let's get into this. All right. So this is the bubble. Um, I guess the bubble bomber. I don't really know what to call this because all of these coats be having mad different names, and I really don't be knowing what to call it. But I wear this one like for real in the winter, winter. Like with this brick, I really wear this one. Um, snow and all that. Like it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, what is this? Okay, I have gum and everything in here. But um, this is pretty good. This keeps you pretty warm. Get up close. Um, it's got the fleece through and through. Nice little inside pockets. Oh, uh, wow. I got mad peanuts everywhere, yo. Peanuts is a good snack, for real. That's why I got peanuts everywhere. But, um, got your inside pockets. It's fleece through and through. Put a little hoodie up under here. Because that's the thing. Like, you don't want to be too bundled up. Like, you can't really... With this job, even in the winter, you can't really dress as, like, the average person because it's, like, yes, it's cold outside, but you're walking around, so you're going to be hot. So, like, don't put on too much. And I'm a nose bleeder, so I, I can't really, like, try and put on, like, too much clothes because it'll, it'll be ridiculously hot. But, um, you know, if you don't got your voucher yet because you already know how USPS does with, with the voucher... So, um, this is what I was, this is the, the outfits I bought, um, when I first started. Um, this is a Columbia. My pants is at work in my locker. That, don't worry, y'all. I'm like, I'm not really, like, underprepared. It's just, like, a lot of my stuff I keep in my locker because I don't like to bring it back and forth. Like, my rain gear and stuff like that, I don't like to bring that back and forth. That's annoying. But, um, figured it out the hard way that this jacket is not good for, um, it's definitely not good for this job. Like, it's cool. You got your umbrella. You outside on the weekend on your own timing. Like, but this is not for the job. The pants that I have to this, these, this, I, I believe this line is like, um, I forgot the exact name of it. But it's like the summertime line or something like that. Like, if I really go back to the orders and find the names and everything, like, I'll put it in the description. Um, but this is like the thinner summertime rain outfit. But the jacket, no good. Um, I wouldn't say it's no good. It's just not for, like, without an umbrella. You need an umbrella with this jacket because you will soak through and through with this jacket. But um, the pants are good. I do not have the pants right now because um, they're in my locker, like I said. And then I bought this jacket, right? Don't ask me why I bought this bright of a blue. To, to be honest, online, it didn't really look this bright. Like, to be honest, I thought it was maybe about this blue. That's what I really thought. Thought wrong. But, you know, um, it's got the lining in it. And, you know, it, it does its job. It, this, this jacket doesn't soak through it through. But this jacket, you really got to know, like, it's really got to be tight brick for you to wear this one. Because if you wear this one in the fall thinking, like, you know, you going to be good, it's hot. It is hot. This lining, it really works. This is also Columbia. The jacket before that was Columbia as well. Um, I forgot what line this one is. I think this is real, uh, like a wintertime one for real, because it got the lining in it. Um, yeah, they don't really get too specific, but yeah, this is the wintertime one. This is good. Columbia, listen, I prefer. It's to the point that I still haven't got my voucher yet, and I'm about to be. It's about to be two years of January, and I've only got one voucher for this whole, like, thing, right? But nonetheless, um, don't let nobody tell y'all nothing about um, Columbia. And to be honest, I really want to start getting Patagonia stuff because they got this fire bib, um, this fire bib, like, snowsuit. Listen, we used to wear them as kids, but listen, I, I will throw one of those on. Those are fire. Those are really fire. Um... I didn't order my snow boots yet, like, because I'm about to put on the, um, I'm about to show y'all the winter Columbia ski pants that I got. Look at you. I wish I could just see what this cat is doing. He's just over here wilding. Anyway, um, 
Hoka. Hoka? It has to be Hoka. Hoka has these boots. Um, they a little, they're a little breezy, okay? They are, I think they're like 250 or something like that. But they're like the Gore-Tex boots. I went to, um, what's that store? Re, R-E-I, right? Um, in Soho, I went to try them on in person because I wanted to see if they was heavy or not because I have Ugg snow boots, but you don't want to, like, them, them boots, again, it's certain things that you wear on your own time and it's just certain stuff that you just cannot wear to work. So those boots are not, and you're going to play with the toy right here. Those boots are just really not it. So, um... Yeah, I wanted to try something else. So, when I do order those boots, because I was going to order the sneakers. I've seen the sneakers, but I'm like, you know what? Even the, down to the sneakers. I believe the sneakers are like 150 I think those are like around 200 too, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're like $150, $200. But I'm like, you know what? If I spend $200 on sneakers, I might as well just go ahead and get the boots. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the, um, I'm going to cop the Gore-Tex boots um, for the winter. And I'm going to definitely get back to y'all on how those go. But um, it seems like those are some good boots. I've been seeing them everywhere. Um, sort of like an A6 vibe with runners. Like, I feel like Hoka's is like, I don't know, hiking kind of thing. So, I'm going to definitely try those out. But um, here goes the ski pants that I bought. Um, what I like about these, these are very, these are very hot. Okay, these are very hot hot now i'm gonna put them on over my pants just because i just want to show y'all but on an average day i don't wear these pants with anything else because if you wear these pants with anything else you are gonna fry okay on the coldest day you cannot put these pants on with anything else they have a lining in it um you know they got the little part with it for your the scrunchy part you know and that's what I like about these pants. They fit good over your pants. You know, you outside in the winter and it starts snowing and you just got your rain, you just got your snow pants with you and you didn't really know. You know, they got pockets. Do they have pockets on the back? There's no pockets on the back. They are kind of flare. They are, but listen, these are snow pants. Who is looking at you like that? Listen, go back, take yourself back to 2007. We used to wear the flare trues, the flare tabs, a solos, Tims. Just take yourself back on a little trip. It's fine. Nobody's really watching that. Nobody's watching that. But yeah, I like these pants. I like these pants. And I'm gonna, when I get back to work, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna ask again about my voucher, but I'm not buying postal rain gear or those wind pants. Cause I heard in the, like they're good for the wind. But they're not good for the rain. What's the point? What's the point? I'm buying the pants so that I don't get soaked in the rain. And you're telling me that the, the pants aren't good for the rain. It just it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I know I'm moving a little too fast. I told you I don't have my rain hat. As a matter of fact, I just got a rain hat. The plastic, the plastic one, Um, those are good. I think I paid... Well, I did not pay for that either. I got that as a gift. I know you're like, woo, you're getting a lot of gifts. Mind your business. But anyway, um, that was a gift. Um, $20. I got it in blue. I, normally, everybody has it in white, but I got it in blue. Um, real good. Real good. Ladies, I suggest you invest in that because there's nothing worse than coming to work with your braids or whatever. And, you know, like right now, right now, you know, I have locks. I got locks. I wear faux locks most of the time because I don't really like, I don't really like doing hairstyles where it's too much, um, it's too much maintenance. Like I just had a blowout maybe like last week. Um, I'll take a break every now and then and do a blowout so I can trim my hair because you know I'm natural, but <laughs> this video has nothing to do with that. But, um, yeah, the cap feel real nice on top of the hat. Uh, let me show y'all the hats. So, we got, uh. I got this one. Okay, it's a little dusty. Don't mind it. Don't mind it. But I don't know. This this hat, it, I, 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 mm. when I first bought it, I thought it was real cute. Like, I really did. And it's, it's really not a bad hat. But to be honest, like, to be honest, it gives me, and with, and with locks, to be honest, it's certain hats I really don't like wearing because I feel like it just gives me a whole nother vibe. 
So, you know, this hat is really like a no-go, like, for right now. So, but, you know, it's cool. It's cool. I think I paid about 15 for it or whatever. Don't mind my house phone in the back. Um, Y'all already know what this hat is. This is my go-to. I wear this hat whenever, for whatever reason. Love this hat. You can't go wrong with the Nike fit. I mean, wow, well, I said fit. You can't go wrong with the Nike cap. I do that. Um, I wore my Dodgers hat. They be lying, y'all. I don't even got no warranty. I don't know what they talking about. But anyway, um, I wore my Dodgers hat one time. Um, nobody really said anything about that. I don't really think we're supposed to be wearing that. But, you know, if you feel a little spicy sometimes, you know, hey, I say go for it. Just wait till you move to, you go out, move to the street and then throw it on. Um, I do love buckets. Okay, I love me a good bucket. I got my good old postal bucket. Denim. I like to wear it like that though. It's like that y'all. Like that y'all. Like that. Yeah, I'm crying. But um, y'all get the point. Um, I got a few other buckets, but they not they're not postal. Um You definitely want to get yourself ready for the winter. Um, see before I bought the um before I bought the the official <laughs> I can see it's a whole lot of stuff going on. I got phone calls in the back. <clears throat> it's important, but you know, they'll understand. I'm 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 gonna call you back, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you back. But um before I bought the official, this is the official baklava. I don't even know if the if I'm saying it right. Um this is the postal one. This is the one that goes. Ugh, let me see. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on, y'all. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. You're definitely going to need this. Okay? You're definitely going to need this. The winter days, the wind, the snow. Listen, just, just cop it. Just cop it for real. And while I'm bending down like that, y'all can see me from here. But anyway, you definitely want to cop up. Look at my cat in the toilet tissue. Are you serious? Oh my god, y'all. He is terrible. But anyway. Yeah, you definitely want to cop that. But um, before I had the postal one, you know, I bought one of these from like the corner store. I still use this every now and then. This is like uh, the hood. I hate that it's mad pointy. But listen, when that wind starts blowing, all right, and you pull this up, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, you scrunch this up. You be good money. You be good money. I say invest in one of those. Even if you don't got the postal one, definitely cop one of these. It is not hard, especially in New York. Hit up the Africans on the street. It's not hard. Um, you definitely want to copy with Scully. Definitely want to copy with Scully. Can't go wrong with these either. Sorry. <laughs> Look at my cat. He's looking at me like, what? Um, but anyway, yeah. So you definitely want to make sure you got one of these. For the winter. Um, and to be honest, I really think that's all I got for right now. I left my hats. I left the raincoat. I showed you the coat. Um, yeah, to be... Oh, you know what? One last thing, right? Because it's almost winter. Get you a pair of these, right? These are, don't worry, y'all. This is like fur. They've been in my closet for a minute in my little work bin. But these are really good. Like, I wear the truck gloves that come with the uh, the rubber on it, like, all year round. But when it gets winter time and I'm on truck, because you can't really, like, use these to thumb through the mail. Like, you could try if you get real desperate. Like, you could try. But it, it, it's, it's, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. They're kind of thick. But... He 
is so bad. He's going to knock the whole... You're going to knock over the ring light, Leo. Anyway, y'all. Um, Yeah, I wear the regular ones throughout the year. But these are like the truck... I call these like the truck glove ones. But I will wear these out of desperation. Like on a cold day. If it gets too cold, like I'll definitely throw these on. If you look real close, they got the, the lining in it. All the way through. All the way through. They still... <clears throat> They're still kind of cold, but for the most part, y'all get the vibe. Like, it's better than being outside with no gloves at all or them latex gloves. I don't know how y'all do that latex glove thing. I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. So, it's either truck glove or these or nothing. So, that's really it, though. Um, I think I'm going to wrap this up. I think we got a... I think y'all got a good... I think this was a good idea oh listen y'all for real as far as the uniform pants please go get your uniform pants tailored for real because nobody wants to see i i know i don't and this is no shade to anybody because you know i get it maybe everybody doesn't have like a hundred dollars to go get their pants tailored but like it just it just looks a lot more put together when your uniform pants is not dragging the floor and you know the, the pants come a little flare they be a little long you know i'm short so i gotta get everything tailored but just please get your uniform pants tailored for real like especially the pants I, the shorts you know well my shorts be mad tight so you already seen that don't gotta show you that um but yeah the, the, the pants get oh, make sure your postal drip is up to par don't come to work with the dirty shirt you feel what i'm saying now the pants i will admit the pants you do be having a little dog spot right here but i get it that's because you work hard you feel what i'm saying i ain't watching that but the, the, the crazy shirt, okay, the crazy button-up, it's already light blue. You know, just make sure your drip, make sure your post drips up. You know what I'm saying? I get it. It's a uniform. It's going to be a little, I, I don't want to call it dingy, but you, you get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But just make sure the post drip is up to par. You know the shoes, socks, the coat, all that. You know what I'm saying? But... It's your girl Cleo. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Stay tuned for the next video.